In the last video we learned the basics of Unity Editor, and also add a ground and a player. But our player couldn't move or do any other action by itself. In today's video we will get started with programming in Unity. Today we will creating our first script, so this video will be much more interesting. I'm really excited. Let's just jump into it. To program in Unity we create what is called a script. To do this we will we click on the object that we wanted to sit on, in our case it's the player. And hit add component in the inspector, and write the name of your script, in our case it is something like player movement. Hit enter on new script, and then click on create and add. You will see a new component is added to the inspector tab, and a new script will also appear on the project panel. Hit double click on it, and you will see Visual Studio will pop up. First time it may take some time, but if Visual Studio is already opened, then it pops up instantly. So this is what a script looks like. Just when you created that's a lot of scary stuff going on here. The thing about learning to program, is that at first you're just going to have to ignore most of the stuff that's going on. And really only thing that you should focus on right now, is these functions where it says void start and void update. And this are created by Unity automatically. Start function will run when your game starts. And the program inside the update function work when we continue playing the game. To clean it up a little bit, we can go ahead and delete the two using tags up here. We can do a lot of things using the scripts in Unity. The possibilities are pretty much endless, and that's also kind of what makes programming scary, is that you have a lot of functionalities available to you. Now let's go into our script, and go above our functions on this empty space here, create some new lines, and write public, then name of the component, our component is called rigid body. And then the name, which is rb in our case. Now in update function, write rb.add force 0 on x, 0 on y, and 2000 multiplied by time dot delta time in the z. Also change the name, update to fixed update, for calculating physics. Remember when you do physics stuff, then always use fixed update instead of update. Now hit Ctrl and S to save the script. Then go back into Unity. And add our player to RB in the inspector tab of our player. Hit play, and you see our player is launching along the z-axis. That's all for this video. You will see a complete movement script in the next video. Thanks for watching.